Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and today I'm going to do something completely different and out of the norm for me. Uh, lately, I've been selling a lot, a lot of Van Dyke Gundam kits. They've been really, really popular, and I just received an order of over a hundred of them in stock. So I decided to change things up a little bit, and I'm going to build a Gundam kit. But instead of painting it the regular look of what the box shows right here, I'm actually going to do it in some kind of like NATO tricolor camouflage and really beat it up and things like that. So. I just picked one off the shelf. This is a uh, Golf Custom, so let's give it a shot. I decided to do a Gundam today for a couple reasons. A, it's very, very simple kit to put together. Not a lot of parts. Uh, they, they're completely movable and I wanted something easy to put together just so I could get to painting. I felt like painting today and I thought this would be an excellent project to start off with and it is. It's, it's a very very nice kit and I would highly recommend everyone trying something outside of their comfort level sometimes just to have fun with the hobby. I've gone ahead and uh, completed construction on the kit here. Uh, I wasn't really thought it was necessary to show all the individual parts being built. It's very, very simple to put together. The entire kit probably took a grand total of two hours, and that's after all the cleanup and sanding and things like that. Really like the uh, the gun system that they give you on this, this big Gatling gun. It'll look really cool painted up. Now what we're going to do now is, now that we've got it all built, is because it is a snap together kit, and all the joints are made out of this really soft rubberized plastic right here. Uh, we're actually going to take parts of it apart so we can actually do all the paint job on it. I assembled it to see what we're looking at and kind of come up with an idea. And the main idea of this video is strictly to have fun. I'm just going to go out and just paint it some kind of crazy camouflage pattern or, or something and then really go to town weathering up the gun and beating it up and just something just something out of the order it kind of mix it up and uh, keep modeling exciting so let's get started on that okay I've gone ahead and discontin uh, disassembled the gun and we're gonna put some paint on it now and uh, starting off with a NATO black we're gonna paint the gun up first you'll also notice that his hand is attached to the gun and I just left it that way because we're gonna leave that black as well so
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the entire Gundam model a, uh, a black undercoat, a shadow coat. I think it'll look really good on this, but especially after we do all the camouflage on it. I've gone ahead and painted the entire model now, the NATO black, and I have to say he already looks a lot more menacing just in the flat black look than he does in the uh, powdered blue. Okay, I've actually gone ahead and removed the bottoms of his feet. That way uh, I want those to remain black, so rather than having to repaint those again. And I've kind of propped him up against a little jar because uh, without the bottoms of his feet he doesn't want to stand up as well. What we're going to do now is we're going to paint him XF59 Desert Yellow. Hopefully you can see this on the camera as well as I can see it in person. Uh, you'll notice that I did not put a super, super heavy coat of desert yellow on it. It kind of gives the effect that the, the paint job is, is kind of old and kind of fading slightly because you can still see a lot of the black tones starting to come through. I've also gone ahead and done his shield and now we're going to assemble that back together. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take the actual gun here that we've got all painted up with the black and I have some S&J polishing powder which you could actually probably use like Vallejo or any of the other companies like one of their metal colors and we're just going to take a tiny little bit of this on a piece of paper towel and just start to work a little bit of this in and because it is polishing powder should be able to put a decent amount on here and then take off all the excess but this will give the barrel the look of metal put a little bit more on here Especially around the edges, it really starts to pick up the metal as if it's been worn. Oh, okay, after a little rubbing and buffing here, I think we've got it to a, a nice look that I don't want it too beat up and scratched because it is supposed to be really, really large, so whatever wear marks would be kind of tiny on it, but it gives it a nice metal effect for it. 
Now, while I'm doing that too, I've gone ahead and on a three by five card, I've cut out some geometric patterns. What we're gonna do with that is we're gonna actually stencil on some, uh, some camo markings on this. So let's get started on that. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to show you this really well. What I've gone and done is I've cut up the uh, little things into smaller areas. This way we'll be able to get it onto all the little areas on the actual Gundam. Uh, so what we're going to do is try to get as close as possible with the airbrush so we don't get any overspray on it. And then trying to keep it at a straight up and down angle so we don't get spray underneath the actual mask. got various ones that we've done like this that we can just keep. And what we're going to try to go for is like a geometric pattern just all over them. Okay, I finished up the uh, camouflage job on the, uh, the Gundam model. And because my hand and the airbrush had to be so close to the, uh, the piece while I was uh, painting it, my hand was constantly in the way of filming. So... I actually cut out all of that, but all I did was just by taking the thing and just going in different directions, never keeping it the same, and just spraying it and you'll get that same kind of pattern right there. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and seal the entire thing with dull coat. Um, that'll keep the paint from coming off as we do the, uh, the next coat of weathering it. Okay, I did some uh, detail painting by painting up the hoses his eyes area and of course his horns and his hand over there as well just to kind of give it a little contrast to the model um, it was a fabulous kit to put together I went together within just a couple hours and that's including all the sanding and cleaning up on it uh, I had actually a lot a lot of fun doing it because I got to do a lot of painting and get to use your imagination on it you can see the uh, gun platform he's also got a sword back there as well uh, this is just just I did this just to show you guys that you should just go out there and have fun modeling That's what it's all about. So I appreciate you watching the video and stay tuned because there are more coming